I'm Simon York, I work for Oricon. Uh, we're an engineering consultancy uh, situated throughout Australasia, Africa and the Middle East. Within the company I'm a design technologist and my role is to look for what technologies are out there that are going to impact our business and how we can help implement them throughout the industry. So one of the projects that I showed at AU this year was a site that came about because of the earthquakes that hit Christchurch about six years ago. Um, it's a cliff site that used to have houses on it and unfortunately most of those houses were lost in the earthquake. Um, our role in the project is to monitor that site as the site is remediated. Um, so that means a lot of material is going to be removed from that site to reshape the whole site. It soon became obvious that UAVs were going to be a pretty powerful tool in this project. Um, initially there was the use of abseilers to inspect the cliff, especially after any um, aftershocks that happened. Uh, we were able to quickly implement the use of UAVs though to, to perform those visual inspections. And the use of reality capture tools such as Recap and Remake from Autodesk um, soon became really powerful to be able to use to capture photos from the UAVs and then run those through to create models of the site. Great. And would you say those saved you like time and money and those kinds of things? Certainly. There's so much time saved in that process. Um, also just the accuracy, the ability to have uh, a real representation, a 3D model of that site on a weekly basis. So we can now go back over the last six months and actually see where things have changed that entire time. I've been trying to promote throughout our business uh, the use of reality capture tools on every project, not just open land type projects. Um, I see it as hugely valuable for building services um, and building structures. The ability to capture the existing buildings and have that data available to you when you're designing, but also in the construction process. So why shouldn't we be scanning buildings weekly as they're being constructed so that we know what's happened on site week to week and see where the changes have happened. That's great, and that brings me to my next question actually. It's talking about the, um, the QA or QC loop, so how do you make sure that the work um, meets the design intent? Yeah, well, uh, two things really. The, um, so the, the main cliff site that I talked about, mm -hmm. um, just the fact that we can actually compare that versus the contractor's count of how much material they think they've removed from site um, has proved very valuable. Um, but then from a, a new build perspective, being able to actually compare that against the likes of a Revit BIM model and actually see where are we at and, and what's the design and is it fitting the site correctly. And then there was another, another earthquake more recently in New Zealand and can you talk a little about the site now? Yeah, fortunately the, the site that I've talked about um, it wasn't affected by the recent earthquakes. However, north of Christchurch there was some significant damage where we've lost in complete roadways, railways, um, so it, it's certainly reality capture tools are going to play a big part in remediating that going forward. So I can see us being very busy from now on. I was going to say, how, how has the project influenced others that are in the, currently in the pipeline? Yeah, sure. So the client for this major project um, has loved what we've been able to achieve in there. And the fast turnaround times, the accuracy. So they're looking for us to implement it across all of their sites from now on. Um, and as that client has seen it, we're seeing other clients now wanting the same. Um, and then holistically, in your view, uh, how critical is reality data to the future of AEC? I, I see reality capture as being extremely critical, um, to the point where I believe it's a sort of technology that we're going to look back and wonder how did we even work without it before. Um, just the idea that you can design a building knowing exactly what the existing site is like and being able to work around that rather than in the past just working from old 2D plans and pretty much having a check on site for everything we do. Whereas now we know exactly what is on site and you can design around that. And then where do you see reality capture evolving for your workflows and what would you like to see? What would you, if you could do anything, what would you like to do with reality capture? What I'd love to see is reality capture um, be sped up. The, the idea that you can actually capture it and have it instantaneously available. Um, for now there's obviously still that processing time involved but the ability to have people on site capturing and have people back in the office actually seeing what's happening would be amazing. As a groundbreaker in this field, how do or will you envision democratizing the future of reality capture? So now that we've proven the workflows and how well they work for us, uh, we're looking at moving beyond that and what can we do with the data now that we've captured it. So we're using it in a mixture of VR and AR 
So we're having site inductions performed through HoloLens so we can have clients come in around a meeting table and actually view the site and see what's changed from week to week. Um, so we're now even talking with clients about how do we mix reality capture with the AR and VR world in the way to be able to do site inductions so that they can explore these new sites. So if a new, a new customer or a, a new contractor needs to go to that site, they can explore it through an AR world where the signs will even pop up and say, you need four wheel drive access beyond this point, or this is only walking from here, or this is the gate code to get through this point of this pass. Wow. So from a health and safety perspective, uh, we've tried to incorporate the use of mixed reality technology along with reality capture to actually create a more immersive environment for exploring a site before you actually get there. So we've taken the reality capture from UAVs through to Remake and then through to the HoloLens. So we can have meetings in the office before we go to site. We can highlight all the danger zones and all the areas you should not walk and then we can run it through with people who have never been there and they can actually explore it at small scale on the table or even blow it up to full scale to explore what it's like to actually be there before we get there. So over the years I've tried to change the way we go about designing and I've looked at it and broken it down into three stages. Uh, first is how do we go about capturing data and by that I mean just not necessarily capturing real world data but just how do we capture data that already exists whether it be 2D plans, 3D plans, and models or real world data. And then how do we experience that data? So how do we, and by experience I mean just what do we do with it? Is it, do we build upon that data? Do we visualize that data? Do we just talk about it and have meetings with that 3D model or those plans? And then finally, how do we engage with that data? So, and this is the VR and AR space. And not just that, but how do we create tactile environments? So 3D printing and how can we create a shape that people can un actually understand or engage with. Um, and also things like the augmented reality sandboxes that we're now seeing where it's real world sand that you can touch but the data is projected onto that. So as you change it, it actually updates in real time. Wow, so cool. So that means that clients could go in and, um, <coughs> and give their own design input um, and they'll be reflected in the, in the sandbox, is that yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. So what I've done is created a workflow where we're able to capture data using a UAV of a site, run that through reality capture technology such as Recap and Remake, and then using some CNC fabrication technology from Fusion 360, we can have that shaped out into the sand so you've got a real world scale model of the site. Then clients can come in and start engaging with that sand and as they move it around, it actually calculates the changes and reprojects that change on the sand. I mean, these are a lot of pretty big changes. Like, these are pretty groundbreaking. How have people reacted to them? If you said that clients are excited, but have you encountered some resistance or have people said, okay, you know, we're on board? Yeah, certainly there's resistance throughout the industry. Um, it, just over the last five years, there's been so many changes. Um, UAVs, 3D printing, uh, just, the ability to reality capture. Um, so you're seeing major changes from survey and uh, the design groups from structures, building services. Um, it's, it's changing the way we do work. So you're always going to see that resistance, but from a client perspective, it's amazing to see how excited they are about these changes.